Yes, I said touch the road. <laughs> touch the road will remind you that God is always there when you think that they're bitten out more than you can chew. <laughs> All right. God gives you that energy and that stability if you learn to depend and trust on Him. Pray in season and out of season. Pray, prayer will move that doubt out of your mind. Prayer will redirect and change that I can't, I can't do, I can't. Verse 4 states that the prayers that I, that my ancestors prayed are still good today. I remember as a young man seeing my great grandmother pray. I remember seeing my grandmother pray. I remember seeing my mother pray. Verse 4 states that the prayers of my ancestors were good then and are most surely good now. Amen. I am the second God that answers the prayers of your ancestors. I will not let you slumber nor sleep. Teaches us how to worship and pray to God. Through hymns of thanksgiving, psalms of prayers and cries are out to God for a great and for all occasions of stressful situations. Number three, what do you think you're going to put in your toolkit or need to put in your toolkit when your feelings get hurt? Did I hear somebody say some near spore? <laughs> or rub it back No, you're getting close, you're getting close. Did I hear somebody say that you most have to need a first aid kit to go on that spiritual toolkit? Yeah, you get close, get close. <laughs> Hurt feelings need a bad Amen. Amen. to fix all the hurt that life brings. Mm. Verse 5 says, The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. When people do you wrong, the Lord will always do you right. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. He will never Amen. leave you nor forsake you. Verse 6 reads, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Amen. God preserves his people from the perils of this society, day in and day out. Oftentimes when I'm at work, I, I, I got the best, the, uh, I've had the privilege to, to, to work and broadcast in the last 17 years. And I, and I go to work and I see something different and new every single day. Mm -hmm. On how we treat each other. I see acts of kindness, and I see acts of parents. And I ask God sometimes, how can I be effective if, if I see so much drama that go on each and every day? He said, son, you got to trust in me. Trust, I, I put you in a position to see what you see, to make you always stay humble, and to know that the snap of a thing or the blink of an eye, things can be different. And when you see those people in those times of trouble or acts of kindness, you encourage them. You tell them of the guy that you serve. I can do all of that in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you trust in me, trust in our God, I will keep you in perfect peace. The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our shade upon our right hand. Amen. He should not smite me by day. Or moon by night. He preserves his people. It means he would keep you in perfect peace when trials and tribulations is going on. Number four, someone can tell me when there's sickness in your body or when you have a loved one that's, that's not feeling well, what do you need to put in that spiritual tool? I tell you, you need to put some trust in that Amen. spiritual to you. Even when you can't see God in front of you, he's present. If you trust God with all your heart, with all your mind, he will carry you through. We walk around every single day with the currency in our pocket that reads in God we trust. Mm -hmm. We do really trust God when times are bad. Mm -hmm. His word says, says that I will preserve thee from all evil. He 
relationship with her and my son. Along with that trust and that spiritual toolkit, there needs to be some faith in there, wisdom and understanding. You need to have all of those tools in your toolkit to be an effective person, to be effective in his kingdom. We are trusting and believing in God's will. And the wisdom that he gives us allow us to, to have an understanding whether it be immediate or enduring. There will be healing. Verse 8 states, the Lord shall preserve thy going out, not coming in from this time forth and ever. God is going to take care of us. When we have those hurt feelings, or when we have those days when we can't get started, he's right there. Encourage us to go on. I got your back. Number five, there must be love in that toolkit. Y'all heard this scripture, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. Love is not proud, it does not dishonor. Love is not self-seeking, love is not easily angry. Love keeps no records of wrong. Lord rejoices with truth. Love always protects, and love always trusts. Love always hopes, and love always preserves. So when you think of those times when you, when you don't feel love, you're going to need to add a chocolate kiss to that spiritual <laughs> tree. To remind you of God's love. Number one, as I come to a close, get you some chewing gum to remind you God would always stick by. That means stick to what God has given to you. Number two, get a tissue roll when you need a jump start about being out more than what you can chew out. God is always strong even when we don't need Number three, get a band aid when your feelings get hurt. His word said, I am not keeper. I will heal you and those hurt feelings. Number four, we need to get trust, add trust into that spiritual toolkit. Even when you can't see him in front of you, if you trust God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, he will carry you through. Number five, put a chocolate kiss inside that spirit to choose you. Because God is love. Love thy neighbor as I love thyself. Even if, even if you can't see eye to eye with that person, you must always show love. Psalms was the closest thing Jews had to a hymn book. Written on the scroll, Psalms is a collection of 150 songs, prayers, and sacred readings that Jews use in worship. The musical notes are missing, but the lyrics survive. Many people think of Psalms as a praise book. The Jews, in fact, call the book Tahim, Hebrew for Song of Praise. David is noted as reading almost half of Psalms. Other songs are written by Moses and Solomon. Along with music ministry, Korah and Asaph. Moses and Solomon were other inspired writers. They knew what to put inside of their spiritual toolkit. Would there be one this morning who needed to put some love down in their spiritual toolkit? Would there be one that, that maybe needed to put on the bandage for those?